proudly assembled in the USA, this new personal riding mower was built from the ground up by people who cut their own grass. At least once a year, you should replace the spark plug, clean or replace the air filter, and check the cutting blade and belt for wear. A new spark plug and clean air filter assure proper air fuel mixture and help your engine run better and longer. Before changing your riding mower's oil, make sure your mower is on a level surface. Also, make sure there's no dirt around the oil fill cap that can fall into the oil reservoir. To begin, unscrew the oil fill cap to remove the dipstick. Insert the end of the pump into the oil reservoir. Pump the oil out of the reservoir and dispose properly. Next, refill the engine with 20 ounces of oil through the oil-filled dipstick tube. Pour slowly and do not overfill. Check the dipstick's gauge for an oil level measurement. For the most accurate reading, tighten the dipstick cap securely onto the tube before removing the dipstick. Always ensure that the oil level reaches the full line on the dipstick. Tighten the oil fill cap securely when finished. Your engine will not run properly using a dirty air filter. You should replace the filter every 100 hours of operation or every season, whichever occurs first. Service your air filter more often if you operate your mower under dusty conditions. To change the air filter, first remove the cover knob and cover. Carefully remove the cartridge. Clean the base carefully to prevent debris from falling into the carburetor. Clean the filter by gently tapping on a flat surface. Note, you should replace the filter if it is very dirty or damaged. Reinstall the cartridge, cover and re-secure the cover knob. Now is also a good time to clean the air screen, cooling fins and other external surfaces. Keeping these areas free of debris will allow your engine to properly cool and prevents overheating. It's best to clean your mower with a leaf blower because water in the engine or transmission will shorten the useful life of your riding mower. Avoid using a garden hose or pressure washer unless the engine and transmission are covered to keep water out. To maintain a great looking lawn, you'll need to occasionally replace your riding mower's blades. To remove the blades, raise the mower to the highest position to allow access to the blade. Use heavy gloves and wrap the blade with a heavy cloth to protect your hands. Remove the blade bolt by turning counterclockwise. Install the new blade with the grass side stamp facing the ground. Ensure that the center hole in the blade is aligned with the star on the mandrel assembly and tighten the blade bolt securely.